evening adventurers. We just woke up in Berlin and we are staying in this really awesome little, essentially a tiny house that we wanted to show off before we head out. Hi. There's Eric up there. It's this so cool. has got a sweet bunk bed. <laughs> yeah, there's like this thing, there's a bed down in there and one up there. It's got a sweet TV. We actually have a PS4 over here too. Yeah. It's sweet. It only got this one game, FIFA, but we've been playing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's been awesome. But it's so tiny, but I feel like they like did the space really well, so it doesn't feel too cramped. And it has a full kitchen, which is awesome. We cooked here last night. Yeah, the kitchen is really nice. Yeah, the bathroom's huge. They have cool storage. We accidentally stayed a little too long in the cleaning. People are here, so we're running out now. We're gonna go to a coffee shop and get some work done, and yes. then check into our next place. By the way, check out these awesome windows. This is sweet for what? It's ground level, which is really interesting, but you can just kind of close the curtains and then you have privacy. You ready? I'm born ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. The only downside to Allison's awesome bag is that it comes with this lime green, lime green rain cover. <laughs> what, that's not cool? You look pretty cool. We found a little coffee shop called Cozy's that is, as the name implies, very cozy. <laughs> We're in this little back room and we've got, uh, we ordered a couple lattes, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Iced. Nikita yeah. ordered something, but it hasn't arrived. Yeah, my coffee hasn't come yet. I'm pretty sad. But we ordered a couple Italian sandwiches and they look a lot better than what we thought they were going to be. Check this out. It's pretty good. Got some pesto in there, some, uh, we got tomato. Mozzarella? Mozzarella, I think. Mm -hmm. All right. It's gonna be good. Yep. And what did you get? Uh, avocado tomato? Avocado. Avocado. Yeah. There's randomly a little market across the street. It looks pretty cool. So we're gonna check it out before we head to the train, then to our next Airbnb. Found. Uh, Russian root beer, like legit stuff. It's like that's Russian root beer. Yeah. Oh. It's kind of like kombucha, but different. Whoa. And they do have kombucha on tap. So what's what makes what's Russian root beer? So Russian root beer is you ferment bread with a bunch of yeast in it, and you can add like fruits, like raisins and stuff like that. So it's kind of like making kombucha, but with instead of a mushroom doing the processing, it's the yeast in inside the, or with the bread. It's pretty good. Yeah, you guys want it? Well, yeah, I want to in the kombucha sense, it, of the word. and it's cold, huh? Yeah, it's cold. Don't smell it, whatever you do. Oh, that's really like kombucha. Yeah. It's nothing like root beer at all, is it? But it's called Russian root beer? Well, it's called kvass, which is the Russian word for wow. root beer. Oh. I would have thought that was kombucha if you hadn't told me. Yeah. But you can taste the bread. It does yeah. taste like yeah. like sour bread. <laughs> <laughs> if I hadn't already tried kombucha, I would be gagging drinking yeah. that. You know what? It smells like Parmesan cheese, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's pretty I intense. Smell this. Oh, it does. <laughs> it tastes better than it smells. Yeah. We were just practicing a bunch of German on the train. We're really at least trying to get down the words we use the most to order like coffee and uh, anything we'd ask for at a restaurant, basically. Well, and learning things like, excuse me, please. Yeah. You. <laughs> We're not gonna say any words for you guys though, because you'll just laugh at us. <laughs> so we've arrived at our next Airbnb. It's uh, in kind of the north side of the city, whereas we were in the east side of the city last night. <laughs> <laughs> He's just so happy, He's skipping about it. Anyways, so this one's got a really similar style to the other one, but a slightly different layout. Yeah, it's a tad smaller, but that's okay. But it still has the full kitchen. And both of them had washers and um, dishwashers, which is awesome. Yeah. This one's got a bigger fridge though. Check this out. That's the fridge? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Isn't that nice. sweet? We've also got sweet upstairs loft. <laughs> Check it out. And then we've got our little bed underneath and yep. another beautiful large bathroom. Yeah, these bathrooms rock. This is very nice after the hostel life. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes, yeah. jeez. All right, we got all settled in to our Airbnb. We are off to explore Berlin. By the way, we wanted to give a huge shout out to Anderson Apartments. They're the ones who hooked us up with these awesome Airbnbs. 
as usual, we will have the booking link to these places in the description below. We're also going to have a little discount code that we've been using. Um, it gives you a discount on Airbnb and it gives us a discount on our next Airbnb. It's so you win, can win-win situation. A little bit about where we're staying. It's in Prinzlauerberg, which <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, but it's uh, north of the city and it's an actual, it's a really cool neighborhood. We're kind of on the northern tip of it, but there are a lot of things happening today here, including a big outdoor market. Also, I don't think we quite mentioned that it's Nikita's birthday today. It's happening. Uh -huh. Ooh, he's got his birthday stash out. Right. Oh yeah, he's trying out the mustache. It's a, it's a yeah. special one day year event. <laughs> <laughs> but the weather is lovely, so we're gonna go check it out. Everyone in this park is grilling. It's making me really jealous. <laughs> it smells so freaking good. It smells like I summer. I want that meat. So the market we're going to is in Mauer Park. It's called Mauer Park because Mauer, I guess in German, means wall. So it's wall park because it used to be the dividing point between East and West Berlin. And there was a famous death strip through here, but now, after the wall's down, it's become this amazing green space where people just come and hang out, which is pretty cool to take such an awful history of a place and turn it into something so cool like this. We've entered the market and all kinds of amazing smells are hitting us and we just realized how hungry hungry we actually are. There's a ton of really awesome looking food around here, but we don't really have any cash. So we're trying to find some place that takes credit card. <laughs> We decided to grab some currywurst. Currywurst is basically like pork sausage with um, some curry infused ketchup and then some curry powder kind of drizzled on the top. Oh god. Yeah, we got <laughs> it last time we were here and I have been dreaming about it since then. Yeah. I know it's not the healthiest dish or the most like crazy exotic, but it's just so freaking good with french fries. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they serve it with these delicious french fries. So we just got a couple uh, buckets of them and doused them with ketchup. <laughs> yeah, and this is Nikita's first time trying currywurst. So we're excited to see what he thinks. Ah, nice job. Man. Of course, we got to get some uh, beer to go with it. What kind of beer did you get? Trau, Slager, Schmeiger, Seister, <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> to Currywurst. To Currywurst. <laughs> and Nikita's birthday. All right. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. That's, That's your so jam. Good. That's so good. Let's give this sucker a try. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. It's about how I remember it. I mean, I feel like you can't really go wrong with sausage doused in curry ketchup. Mm -mm. Ketchup is super tangy, and then of course you got this like dust of curry powder on the top. Pretty dang good. How are you liking it, Nikita? It's pretty dang good. I'm really liking the curry powder on top of it. Yeah. My favorite part is these tiny little forks. They're like <laughs> little pitchforks. <laughs> We go and to sleep because it's party all night. We go and to sleep because it's party all night. That's true. We party all night, yeah, us. We party all night, yeah, us. We party all night, yeah, us. We party all night. Next up, we've come to Trep Tower Park, which is a huge Soviet memorial to commemorate 7,000 of, it said, the 80,000 soldiers that died in the uh, Battle of Berlin. But, so this place has a ton of huge sculptures and it's actually a huge military cemetery.
Alright guys, so for Nikita's birthday we decided to go into an absinthe bar. We've ordered a round of absinthe. Um, she's not going to do the whole thing for us. Instead she that gave us instructions. And and so we've got matches. <laughs> some matches here. We've got the whole thing. And, you put uh, the sugar on the spoon, you light it on fire, yeah. you mix it in, and then your brain explodes. So <laughs> I'm just ready for the fourth member to join us, the Green Fairy, like oh, in the yeah. movie. Yeah. What is, what is the sugar burn? I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. now we're that, talking. That if I the glass, it might... Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. Dude. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we got this figured out. Is it going to drip? That's how you do it. Yeah, look how nice it is. Now dip it in there and stir it around and add a juice. Oh, 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 <laughs> what are we doing? What is this? So we just read the proper instruction. We were kind of doing it right. Um, this is like a certain way that you do it with the fire. You don't have to do it like this, but you put the cube on there, you douse it in a little bit of absinthe, and then it lights on fire. You burn it for about a minute. It drips into the water here. Then you dunk it in and add some ice water. And then you got, it should look like this when I'm done. Oh, put the water in, put the water in. Jeez. Okay, put the water in. Oh my that God, didn't work. more water. Jesus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now stir. Stir like your life depends We're on absent it. pros. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> All right. Absinthe time. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Do, wait, do we do we shoot it? How no. does this work? Wait, no, you just oh, sip no. it slowly. Dude. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think we're going to leave you guys here. Um, we're not sure what we're going to get up to for the rest of Nikita's birthday, but I don't want to lug around the camera. So <laughs> yeah. we're going to sit here and sip our absinthe and enjoy this. Awesome uh, Berlin night. Yeah, this will likely take us uh, the rest of the evening to finish because yeah. it's just yeah. absolutely terrible. It it's is the worst. pretty rough. <laughs> uh, and, I'm, and I'm Russian. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.